Good morning, or good day, good evening, good night. Welcome back. I'm currently on my way to the shop, and it is the first day of working on the budget Evo build. I'm friggin' pumped, man. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. This daily vlogging thing is definitely new to me, but we're gonna figure it out as we go. I have a kind of an idea, actually. I'm lying to you, I have an idea. So today, we're gonna measure up uh, the wheels, which is gonna be sick. This thing, trust me, by the time we finish with this, it's gonna look crazy. I hope. I think. So we're going to sort out the wheels today. We're going to go down to the wreckers and get some parts because the car's missing some stuff. And I actually want the car to look clean, or as clean as I possibly can have it. And then we also need to dyno the car because before we can take it apart at all, we want to know exactly how much power it's making with the current stock 1.8 litre engine that's in the car. 250,000 k's on it, doesn't blow any smoke or anything, so it seems healthy as Larry. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that's pretty much what we're gonna get up to. Hopefully, it all works out exactly like I just said. So, yeah, first things first, let's get to the shop and uh, suss out these TSG wheels. Yeah, yeah. You! What's up? Where's the Lancer? Oh, wait a minute, <laughs> it's outside. <laughs> Right where it belongs right now. Yeah, this thing doesn't even get to sleep in the factory. <laughs> okay, so let's talk wheels. Obviously you guys know, uh, in Two Step Garage, we do TSG wheels. Of course, we need to put some cool wheels on this car. So we're going with 17s, and the only 17s we have in stock at the moment are these TSG Rave wheels. At the moment, they are 17 by 9.5 plus 15. These wheels are sick. Obviously, we have them right here on our pink rotary E36. They look freaking amazing. Uh, and they're gonna look super nice, I think, on the budget Evo build. Right, so the best thing about what we can do with the wheels is we can do custom offsets and custom stub patterns. So our budget Evo, uh, or our Lancer, whatever you wanna call it, is four by 100. And obviously at the moment, this offset is definitely too aggressive for, for the car. We want it to look super tough, but we, we don't want the wheels to be sticking super outside the guard. So we do the custom offsets. Basically, we take it down to our machinist. They machine uh, some material off the back face, and that way it pulls the rim in. So these 18 by 9.5 square set. That's what we're going to do on the car. I'm friggin' pumped. So first things first, we'll just do a couple of measurements. Uh, bring the car in, put it up on jack stands, take one of the awesome chrome wheels off, just do a couple of measurements and uh, make sure we're going to get this offset right. Uh, and we're going to take the wheels and drop them off at the driller. Awesome. That thing literally smells so bad. I don't know how we're going to get the smell out of the car. Hopefully taking the seats out will help. Obviously the previous owner was a smoker. If you're the previous owner and you're watching this, no offense, by the way, no offense. We've got the gangster wheels off. Everything looks pretty clean in here. I mean, not clean, it's dirty as, but there's nothing really wrong. Everything looks all right. Just looking at it with the naked eye, but that nah, looks all good. We've got coilovers going in, so the suspension will all disappear anyway, which is sweet. Brake pads we will replace. There's quite a bit of meat left on them, but we'll just chuck new ones in anyway. Paint all the calipers and stuff like that, which is sweet. These tires actually are all right, so we'll use these tires on the rotary car next time we take it out. So all about recycling, you know, making the next track day a bit cheaper, which is sweet. You. But we'll go ahead, we're gonna bring one of these wheels over and kind of measure up and suss out and see what offset we want to be. What a nugget. All right, so I've done some measurements. One of the most important measurements was to make sure that when we have the wheel bolted up, the rim doesn't hit the suspension, right? Because not many people take that into account. So it's all well and good to say, sweet, it'll be inside the guards up here, okay? but. You want to make sure that when you bolt it up, it's not going to hit the suspension. Otherwise, then you'll have to run it like a slip-on spacer, and that wouldn't be any good. So, uh, yeah, always good to double check. So, where we're going to be with these? 17 by 9.5 plus 30 all round. So, we're going to be shaving 15 millimeters off the back of the face, and 4 by 100 is the stub pattern because that's what these are. 
and then the wheels should bolt up nicely. We're going to roll the guards for wheel clearance, no issue there. And same at the back, we might pump them a little bit as well, but we want to make it look all super nice. Um, I'm actually so keen to, to go over this car and detail it and actually do the paint correction on it because I think it's going to come up alright, which is surprising. But yeah, we've got our wheel specs, so now we're going to drop them off at the drillers. Oh, and we just dropped the wheels off at the drillers. They reckon they'll have them done by tomorrow, hopefully. See how we go. Wheel mods, man. These guys are awesome here in Melbourne. They do everything for us and they get them smashed out really quickly. Quality work, never scratched a single wheel. So fantastic, shout out wheel mods. These guys are awesome. All right, so we're waiting for the wheels to get done and I've just had a call from my friends at Springy Performance. They said, bring the car down. We're gonna throw it on the dyno and we're gonna see how much power it freaking makes. Arguably the most exciting part of this video. I'm guessing it's gonna make 70 kilowatts. Give or take a couple, that's my that's my guess. I didn't even Google as to how much power these motors make from factory, so I have absolutely no idea, but 70 kilowatts is my guess. So uh, we're gonna jump in this beautiful rig and we're gonna head down to the diner. This is gonna be freaking hilarious, man. Obnoxious. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we're down here at Springy Performance. These guys are freaking legends, chucking on the dyno for us. Super stoked. Had to get the power figure before we turbo it. Springy Performance literally do all kind of services and mechanical, but they do so many amazing high powered cars. Like, there's just cars as far as the eye can see here, all the way down the street as well, that they do high power builds. GDRs everywhere, that beautiful S14 right here. Man, lots of Barra stuff as well. <laughs> there you have it. 64 kilowatts of power. We didn't even have to strap it down on the dyno, but that's also because of the experience that Danny has with uh, churning or driving through the torque steer. But uh, 64 kilowatts, I was six kilowatts off of my guess. I overestimated the power of this thing, but uh, boom, 64 kilowatts. Thank you, Springy Performance, for chucking it on the dyno at such short notice. Absolute legends. And now that we know how much power it makes, we're good to go in terms of starting to strip this thing down and uh, getting into the fun stuff. Still waiting on uh, the parts to arrive. Should be in the next couple of days, which is awesome. But we do have things we can do until then. Uh, this afternoon, we're gonna be picking up the wheels. We're gonna chuck some tires on them. We'll do a test fit and see how that all looks. We ended up actually going plus 25 on the offset. Um, so, fingers crossed that it's not too aggressive. But at the same time, you know, guards can be manipulated. I just want this thing to be absolutely slammed looking super tough. I'm also trying to find an Evo front bar and stuff like that for it, so give it the full treatment, but uh, so far so good. So perfect timing, I just got a call from Wheel Mods. Our wheels are ready to go, so we're gonna go pick them up, buy some new tires, come back, fit them, and then do a bit of a test fit. It's a good day. I am 69ing with another man, um, which is again, that's what you get. You deserve that. And Don't I hope that, that is, my... I hope it scars you forever, unfortunately. The closer to all right, we officially have wheels for the car. Huge thank you to Wheel Mods. Dropped them off yesterday. They're finished today. Drilling and offset change. They're so quick. Um, so huge thanks to those guys. On the way home, gonna stop and buy some tires. We're also gonna stop at the Wreckers. Uh, Imlax, because there's a couple of Lancers there. And there's a couple of things I wanna see if I can find. Uh, weather trim, front grille. Even though we're gonna be getting an Evo front bumper, they're not super easy to find. So if we can get get a grill and chuck that in the front for now, just to make it look a little nicer, that'd be nice. But uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go go on a scavenger hunt. So it's a beautiful day for it. Let's do it. All right, so we're at the car graveyard, AKA Imlex, the wreckers. Pull apart, come here, grab whatever you want, pay very minimal prices. And straight away, I found one of these grills. It's not in the best condition, but it's gonna fill our spot for right now. The best thing about the car that we've picked is these engines are literally everywhere. There's like 10 here. It's a hundred bucks to come pull one out. No worries. So if we end up 
hurting our engine while we're turboing it, there's plenty more opportunities. There's another one right here to come and grab another engine, so no worries at all. So good. Oof, look at this, we hit the jackpot. Silver door. Zero dents. So we'll be taking this thing right now, that's for sure. Hell yeah. 30 stressful minutes later, we have ourselves a door. At least I know how to take it off the other car much easier. So that's cool. Yeah boy, let's go. All right, we're back at the factory. You look at that. New door, exactly the same color, which means that giant dent is gonna be gone, which is super satisfying. Front grill, sitting there, so ugly. Don't even know why I picked that up to be honest, because it doesn't look good. Really needs the Evo front bumper. I'm going for the Evo 4 look, by the way. Here's a quick picture of what we're after right here. So, not quite sure what we're going to do about the bonnet. I need you guys to let me know in the comments below. Someone commented in the last video that they would unsub if I changed the bonnet. So, I'm um, not sure if I can do that. But look, this actually used to be the OEM colour and someone sprayed it black. Why do you want just that bit black with the roof? It's so dumb. So, we're going to go back to stock color at least look at this it's a thing of beauty but right now we're gonna fit some tires up to our brand new rims gotta pull them out of the car so let's get that done boom look at that Woo -wee. four by 100 plus 25 and once again wheel mods absolutely killed it Stoked. So like I said, as you can see, when they change the offset, they shave uh, material off the back face. And he knows exactly how deep that they can go, keep it safe. So with this, we could only go to plus 25 anymore, and, and it takes too much out of the back face. And uh, you know, you don't want the wheel cracking or whatever. So always good to stay safe. So there's a 17 by nine and a half, plus 25, four by 100. Boom, big boys. So now we're gonna go ahead and chuck some tires on. Let's go. Wheels are fitted, looks fantastic. Now it's time to bring the car in, test fit the wheels, see what they look like. I just chucked some Michelin tires that I had on them lying around, uh, but if we ever do track the car, of course we'll put some appropriate tires on, some semi-slicks or something, but for now, these will do. Nice chunky boy look. Keen to see how they look on this car though. All right. <laughs> Wheels and tires are on. So, front is sweet in terms of the measurements. That's all good, but the rear I rookied out on. And it actually hits the trailing arm here at the back. So a simple slip-on spacer will fix that problem, um, which I don't mind too much about, so that's sweet. But we're gonna let it down off the jack. Obviously, it's not gonna give super good indication of how it's gonna look because we don't have any coilovers in yet, but it's always fun to kind of suss it out. Boom, there we have it. So fitment wise is pretty darn spot on because by the time we roll guards and dial in some camber up front, cause it's literally running, I actually think it's running a bit of positive camber at the moment up the front. Our coilovers allow us to, to change the camber up, which is sick. And then at the back, look, they're aggressive, that's for sure, but I think we're gonna be able to get enough pump out of it. Man, it looks sick though actually. It's crazy how much wheels change a car. Woo -wee. Already looks a million times better. Now imagine that slammed on its absolute butt. Maybe, uh, I have looked on eBay and I can get the Evo 5 flares that go around here, but the only problem is they are about $800, I think it is, just for the rear pair, so it's pretty gnarly, but. Whew. Damn, it looks spicy guys. 
Here's a quick comparison, one side to the other, so nice, aggressive, good, fantastic. Hmm, gross, dented, chrome, yuck. Woo! Pretty stoked on that. So I'm gonna go down a tire size from what we're currently at, two, three, five, four, five, seven, ten. We'll go down to two, two, five. And I had a quick look online. It's really easy to get camber arms for the rear of these cars. So the front, obviously we're putting coilovers in. The front will be camber adjustable. We can dial camber in. The rear, I'll order some camber arms now. We'll put them in the rear. And then it will help us kind of get those wheels under those guards. But we're gonna slam this thing to absolute boogie when those coilovers arrive. Super, super pumped about it. And that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This daily vlogging thing is very interesting. Lots of hard work. So right now I'm literally going upstairs, editing the video, putting it out to you guys. If you are enjoying the series, definitely hit that subscribe button, join the fam, follow me on Instagram, at it's Mike Lake. Hit that like button if you feel like it. All of that stuff that all the YouTubers usually say. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video on this beautiful budget Evo build. Cheers, peace.